So there's always lawsuits going on, especially when it comes to Uber and Lyft in the rideshare arena. Usually it's from other people trying to sue or arbitrate with Uber or Lyft. Then there's also states that are suing. There's a lot of things that are always going on. But what happens when one company in the gig arena sues another one in the gig arena? Well, that's what's happening right now. And that's what we're talking about. Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Rideshare Stories. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for different things within the rideshare industry, whether it's updates to what's going on, news, tips and tricks for passenger drivers, or what actually happens on Real Rideshare Rides, start now by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Also make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. So yeah, we've all seen so many different types of lawsuits coming from Uber and Lyft and people suing Uber and Lyft and other companies and all these things that are going on, class action suits, this, that, the other thing. But we've never seen when two companies who are in the same arena fight. But alas, Instacart is suing Uber over IP theft or intellectual property theft. This article right here is from Engadget and it's titled Instacart sues Uber's corner shop over IP theft. Delivery startup claims corner shop stole from its product catalog. So if you want to check out this article, link is in the description below. And again, this is a pretty interesting thing because how much Uber wants its intellectual property and puts all these different stipulations and things when it comes down to it about what rights it has and technology it owns and things like that. But yet Corner Shop is taking product catalog from Instacart. Well, it goes on and says Instacart sued Corner Shop, the grocery delivery startup Uber acquired last year to expand its food footprint. So for those who didn't know if uh, Uber was going to get into the shopping and delivery arena, well, there you go. Corner Shop is a company they acquired. Whether they do something with it or not, um, you know, that's still up in the air, especially with what's going on with the whole pandemic and how they had to refocus and restructure. So it might be in the back burner, it could be coming forward, uh, but it says the company alleges Corner Shop stole product images and other IP prop or intellectual property. In a legal brief, Instacart says Corner Shop tried to hide the origin of its catalog images by modifying their file names. The company also shared the images below, comparing listings on both Instacart and Corner Shop. So you can see that they are pretty much the same. And this one right here with the bag, um, you could see how it's actually pretty much the exact same when it comes to the indents and things like that. Uh, so yeah, you could see they probably have some sort of case. Instacart claims it spent tens of millions of dollars and a tireless amount of effort to build its catalog, which features items from more than 30,000 stores across its footprint. While we will welcome competition and innovation, what Corner Shop is doing is illegal, Instacart said. And just to put that in perspective, yes, building up these catalogs takes a lot of work. I was in the process of building up a catalog for my other store, and it takes a long time, especially trying to get pictures for everything and building it up and then building the database for it. So yeah, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time. And just to have somebody take the picture, well, whoopsie. Uh, but then it goes, the lawsuit comes just over a week after Uber announced it would add the grocery deliveries to its main app, courtesy of Corner Shop. Oh, there you go. So yes, they are going to bring it to the forefront. Uh, as part of the move, Corner Shop is slated to expand to Miami and Dallas in its first U.S. city sometime later this month. Thanks to the coronavirus pandemic, demand for grocery deliveries has also surged in the U.S., Instacart is facing a new challenge in the U.S. from Chilean upstart, and it's unfortunate that their first move is litigation instead of competition, a spokesperson for Uber told and Gadget. Corner Shop will be responding to this complaint, but won't be deterred in bringing grocery delivery to more customers in the U.S. Depending on how the case develops, it wouldn't be the first time Uber has gotten into trouble thanks to one of its acquisitions. In 2017, Waymo accused the company of stealing trade secrets after it brought Auto, a self-driving truck startup founded by former Waymo engineer Anthony Lewandowski in 2016 for $680 million. 
One year later, Uber agreed to pay Waymo $245 million to settle the case. CEO Dara Kay, who wasn't with the company when the acquisition went through, said it should have been handled differently. So again, as I said, Uber is no stranger to the courtroom and seeing two big giants when it comes to gig arena platforms like Instacart and Uber going at it. It'll be pretty interesting to see exactly what happens. Now, unfortunately for Uber, it's probably not going to look too good, but we won't know. Uh, at least for a little while. And more than likely, there's probably going to be some sort of settlement, so you probably won't hear too much about it. Uh, but it is something that could be coming and will be pretty interesting to see. And Uber is no stranger to the courtroom. And in fact, there are many court cases going against them currently right now, and some are high profile. Some actually could change its core business structure. And to change its core business structure, you have California and Massachusetts suing Uber for the misclassification of its drivers, saying that they are truly employees instead of independent contractors, and they're trying to go to the court system to have that taken care of. Then you have New Jersey also suing Uber for a ridiculous amount of money, something like $680 million in back taxes, unemployment taxes, employment taxes, things along that. And then you have other states that are also going to battle with them when it comes down to it. So they're no stranger to the courtroom. And again, this whole thing with Instacart, more than likely it's probably going to be a settlement, especially if you see those pictures. Now, I don't know beyond that what they've been doing, but... Uh, that just goes to show you a few things and hopefully they have more cards up their sleeve when it comes to Instacart. So Instacart better be ready to do battle. Now, what are your thoughts on all this? Comment below and let me know. With that being said, that's the end of this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified for every new video that is uploaded. Also, make sure to check the description below for any other helpful information and tips. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, your delivery drivers, and your shoppers. And we'll see you next time.